Let's do an unboxing of a Lenovo ThinkPad E15 Generation 2. Just arrived in the mail for a client, which we'll be doing a data cloning of. So I thought I'll do a quick inspection for you. Here we are. So with it you get a Type-C charger, which is a 65 watts. Twenty volts, three point two five amps. All right, here we go. So, firstly, a Type C data and power USB HDMI headphone microphone. Kensington lock network and a USB. Or i7 full size keyboard feels uh, they usually feel nice let's see it's got a soft feel very very firm bouncy nipple mouse keyboard backlight fingerprint on the power button Looks like the battery is flat. I'll use my own charger for now. While it's charging, this is the screen. It's a matte finish, not reflective. Camera has a privacy physical switch. Microphones on the sides look like a possibly a stereo. Power button now, it's turning on. Okay, let's have a look into BIOS. Cool. 16 gig 11th gen i7 okay secure boot on thunderbolt 4 hmm oh cool you can change the bios version to this oh, i'm curious about this i've never seen this okay And you get the classical BIOS. Really cool. While I'm here, I'm going to change the boot options to boot from a USB. To do that, we need to disable secure boot. Yeah, okay, let's let it boot into Windows and let's see what it does initially. It is quite light uh, for a 15.6 inch, which means the LCD panel is quite light. That's good. A 
I'm going to wipe the drive anyway, so I'll just do this initial. Initial quick setup, just to see if there's any problems before we go ahead. Annoying there is only one type C port, it should be two. How does the keyboard backlight look like? Let's try function spacebar, here we go. So it has two settings, one, two, and off. All right. I literally don't have internet. It's coming this morning. Okay, I think that's about it, but you can see the reflection, how it works, how it looks, etc. It, it is a nice machine, I'm sure it's going to be more reliable than the other machine they had before, which was an Asus. For 15.6 inch, it still looks small, there's very little bezel around it. Not like the chunky Dells or the HPs, like very little gap, I, I, it's nice, yeah. So it's got the answer reject phone call buttons for Skype and other apps, that's cool. Backspace, that's interesting. Function, function lock, function, function lock. That's very clever. You don't need to go into BIOS to make changes for this guy. Very simple. Very nice screen, notepad type. You just want to try the backspace. Ah, oh, there is a backspace. Oh, interesting. That's cool. You don't need to look for that. The delete key is there. Hmm, interesting. All right. Uh, brightness. Here we go. That's the lowest. Yeah, I can easily use that at night. Real deep dark. That's the volume. Yep, time to burn your eyes. And display settings. It is 1920 by 1080. Performance, yeah, just some um, Windows loading itself, about 3 gigabytes SSD, it's a Samsung, wow, okay, so they, they've used, uh, depending on the batch you get, so this is a Samsung SSD, which is nice, have a look in device manager, Yeah, we'll try the camera next. What am I looking for? Oh, network. I want to see which adapter. Oh, okay. AX201. Okay. That should support Wi-Fi 6. Yep. Okay. And in terms of the camera... It's a bit dark in here, so... Yeah, a camera could be better. I've seen better cameras on laptops. 
Yeah. They could be done better. Okay. All right, that's it. Hopefully it was recording and audio. Yes, it was. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.